riding in the, uh, the very first prototype car, so it's a bit noisy and harsh, but uh, this is a supercharged car, which uh, is pretty fast and uh, manages to do about 22 miles to the gallon and 170 miles an hour and seat four people. Keep fill about mess with the gear there for a little bit. And gear lever? Yep. Um, behind me is the Connaught motor car, which is not yet available to the public, but it is uh, rather unique in that it has a hybrid assist system, uh, which is uh, bolted to the front of a unique V10 engine. In fact, the whole car is new from the ground up. You shall be able to save shall we say 15 to 25 percent fuel and an exact equivalent reduction in CO2 emissions. But the car gave birth to the only retrofit hybrid system technology currently in the world today. So it's a version of this system uh, and it's fitted to a transit van. This belt drive is a patented CVT drive. Okay. And we have a heavy duty clutch, which is just here. So it's a heavy duty clutch. And it's the unique thing about the technology we've employed is, um, as you're aware, it was developed on the Connaught Type D, which was a petrol installation. And it's 100% retrofit. So the hybrid system that we employ in the vehicle is less than 50 kilograms. It gets bolted to an existing van, so straight off the line, or if you buy a, um, a fleet of transits, we can install a hybrid kit in less than a day for you. Retrofitting hybrids is a, a really interesting idea and, and beneficial on a number of levels. First of all, it allows the technology to be fitted to a far wider group of vehicles than those I mentioned before. Secondly, it allows the technology to be developed independent of the car. It, developing cars is a very expensive e experience for any manufacturer. So to be able to just focus on the hybrid unit, the powertrain effectively could offer efficiencies and cost savings. Hybrid cars have been under development for a long time now and one company that's had particular success is Toyota. Toyota built the Prius and under the Lexus badge they also built cars like the LS600H and the GS450H. All three of these cars have had commercial success. They've also proved to be reliable and have de dealt really consumers the kind of savings that they were hoping to make, particularly here in central London where we have congestion charge from which hybrids are currently exempt. <laughs> 